Hello guys, in this quick video tutorial, we are going to review two important mesh operations in the ANSYS Maxwell software and check differences between these two mesh operations and how we can use these mesh operations effectively. So let's start. Okay, here you can see this project. Let's insert a 2D design. And I want to just create two rectangles. Let's set the position x size equal to 10, y size equal to 10. And also I create another rectangle with the same size right with the same size just to compare differences that we have also we should create an enclosure uh, region let's change the transparency of the external region and yes so save the project and add a solution setup yes here just i want to create the initial mesh and check the initial mesh generate the mesh without specifying any mesh operation here you can see the normal completion of simulation on server so let's select all regions and plot the mesh okay so here you can see the default mesh the initial mesh for this rectangle and this one right coarse mesh we didn't specify any mesh operation so let's just plot the mesh for these two regions because these two regions are our interest and now i select this region and apply inside selection so in this video we are going to compare the differences between on selection and inside selection so here we have a 2d geometry this is a surface and for this rectangle the inside of this region is this area and this edge actually are boundaries of this region right so we have four edges and when we want to specify a size constraint on inside mesh elements we should use the inside selection for example here i set inside selection length based if I apply 2mm and repeat the mesh generation, yes, here as you can see, we restricted the size of the mesh. The edge length should be lower than 2mm. But if I select, if I press E on my keyboard and select this edge only, right so if i want to restrict the size of the edge of mesh elements on this segment only i should use this option on selection so on selection means the boundary of the object right here our objects are two-dimensional so boundaries are edges and inside the regions are surfaces that we have so here if i apply 1 mm on this edge and revert to initial mesh and again generate the mesh right so you can see the difference here just we applied the mesh constraint on this selection okay and here is the inside selection so this is the difference okay so let's 
create a 3D design and generate the geometrical two cubes, the X size 10, the Y size 10, and Z size 10, and generate a new cube here. The position eleven zero zero ten ten and ten. Yes. So let's generate the mesh for these two objects, the default mesh without specifying any mesh constraint. Generate the mesh. So the mesh generated successfully, and now we can plot the mesh. Okay, so here you can see the generated mesh and you can see the solution data, mesh statistics, number of elements, 12. Okay, so again, if I select this object and assign a mesh operation inside selection, okay, length based inside selection equal to here I write 4 and if I generate the mesh again so here you can see all mesh elements inside this region the length of the edges are restricted to 4 mm so now if I want to use the on selection because this is a 3d object so the boundaries are surfaces right so if i press f on my keyboard and only select this surface i can assign mesh operation on selection if i restrict all mesh elements the edge length on this surface the maximum element length equal to two and repeat the mesh generation okay so i will have this mesh distribution this is different right so yes this is the difference between the inside selection and on selection inside selection is for inside of the region on selection is for applying the mesh constraint on boundary of the region Thanks for watching.